I had a cancellation this morning. I thought about going back to bed, but that never works. So I said, you know what? This is a great opportunity to check on some of my spots that I haven't been able to fish lately because the water's been too high. So on the way there is this little pond. This pond, the high, I mean, it doesn't matter the level of the water here. Although I, I think the fishing gets better when the waters, when the levels drop. So I said, you know, let me come out here and just get a little bit of fishing in first. And I'm glad I did because the first hour of fishing out here, I caught a ton of fish. I'll probably catch one here in a second for you guys. And then I'm going to pack it up and try and get to a few different spots, bring you guys with me. Then later on, I have a, a car show to go to. I'm going to got my, my VW registered. We're going to go to a car show. And I noticed there's a little pond near the parking lot there. So I'm going to bring a rod and try to sneak a little fishing in there. And I think if we have time, I'm even going to share a guacamole recipe with you. So far today, I've been finding schools of fish by throwing a, a little five inch worm. The fish ain't jumping today, so it's hard to spot them on the surface. So I've been just throwing a little worm trying to locate them. And then if, if I get a peck or a, you know, a bite like this, I'll land the fish. These schools have fish of all sizes. The, of course, there's a lot more small ones than big ones. But then if I land the fish like I just did, or I get the little peck like I was saying, I have another rod rigged up here now with a big worm, and I'll throw that into the same spot. And that's what was working earlier today before the sun came up. It's time to do a little change in tactics. That rubber worm, it was working well this morning, but it's, it's only catching little fish now. So I tied a crankbait on here. I'm gonna try that out instead and see if I could simulate those larger size bait fish that I've been watching the bass chase around here for the last couple of minutes. Beautiful. What do we get? Okay, so not uh, the size bass I'm looking for, but the crankbait delivered. All right, my truck's right over there. There's one nice little row of rocks. And dragging this thing right across the rocks has been the has been the key here all since I started using this crankbait. So let's see. Yep. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Not bad. Whoopsie. Okay. So one more bass before I get back to the truck. We'll take it. All right, I just came off the pond. I packed everything up. I'm gonna go to a new spot. While I'm on my way there, check out this great recipe for guacamole. Enjoy. I know a lot of great avocado recipes. And today I'm gonna to teach you my quickest and simplest one. It's so quick and simple, I call it quickamole. It's so quick and simple, I can teach you how to make it in under a minute. It's so quick and simple, I could teach you how to make it in under a minute in English and Spanish. All you need is an avocado, and a sombrero, and the sombrero is optional. Ready? Start the clock. You take your avocado, cut it long ways, not crossways like this, but long ways. Go right around it. Separate the avocado. Remove the seed and discard. Take your knife 
make a few cuts in the avocado, cross cuts like this, mash it up a little, take your chip, and you have yourself a bite of quickamole. Mmm. Ahora en español. Toma el aguacate. Corta por lo largo. Así. No así. Así. Ábrelo. Toma la semilla y tíralo. Con el cuchillo, corta un poquito así, así, cuadrado. Toma la tortilla. Y ya, tiene el quickamole. Yeah, try that quickamole. It's delicious. I just made my way back to the pond here. I gotta really keep my eyes open because rattlesnakes. But anyway, um, the going's a lot easier. The water's lower. I wore socks, so my boots are a lot more comfortable. So I'm gonna take a few casts, see if we can catch anything. There's a fish. All right. Well, that worked. Okay. Second cast. Probably would have been first cast, but the wind took my cast away from where I wanted it to go. But look at that. Definitely worth the walk. We got a nice bass. That's a good start. There's a bass, hit it on the top. All right, I hope the GoPro got that. I was just bringing this thing right across the top of the surface and this guy, yeah, okay, beautiful. So there's two fish. Little guy, first one was all right. <laughs> Pond number two, fish were definitely biting. I was there, what, three minutes and I caught two fish? But it's just too difficult back there. The mud's too thick, the wind's blowing too hard. Uh, if I was with someone, maybe I'd make a day out of it, but for making a video, that's not the place to go today. So I'm gonna try pond number three. Stay with me. Looks like part one of my fishing day is coming to an end. I've been fishing this pond, the third pond of the day. I thought this one was really gonna be productive with this crankbait. I did so well with the crankbait at the other pond over the rocky areas and this pond has a ton of rocks but nothing not even a bite so i put the time in here and i'd put even more time in but i can't i got my buses entered in a car show i gotta get home and wash them Day is still going strong. I'm not as strong. I've been up since 4 a.m. But here we are at the car show. I got my my Westphalia set up, my camper. I got my panel van here. And as I said earlier, I did bring my rod and my fishing gear here to the show. There's a little pond down there, but the the uh, there's signs that say no fishing. I was hoping to show you guys, you know, me maybe catching a bass over there. But if uh, if a body of water is marked no fishing, I don't fish it. So I guess that's it for fishing for me today. I don't know, maybe we'll win a trophy at the show, let's see. It's 1 a.m., I'm finally home. Got the trophy. On the way home, I also got this, which is why it's 1 a.m. Look at, I could put my whole hand in there. Tire just blew right out. Then I had a problem with my spare. The problem being it was 15 miles away here in my garage. So luckily my wife was behind me in our other Volkswagen, which got second place at the show. And so I was able to run home, get a wheel, drive back up, put the spare on, drive home. It's been a long day, but it's been a great day. I got to fish, caught a bunch of fish, Got to spend time at a car show with my family, with my son and my wife and a lot of good friends. Got to have pizza after with some friends. 
made some guacamole, and then got to do a little roadside repair on the bus. I'm ready for bed. We'll see you next time. <laughs>